Okay, my picking chums, this is um, like another look at the, the five string banjo, some rudiments here. Now, so far, what I've shown you is like double thumbing, where you're just using these two fingers. But there's another way where you can do double thumbing and using your two um, first fingers and your thumb. And it sounds like this. And speed goes. So what you're doing is you're using your thumb on the fourth string. So it's four, two, three, one using your second finger to pluck the first string so thumb on the fourth index finger on the second thumb on the third string and second finger on the top string so so go four two three one five with your fifth uh, with your thumb the fifth string so four two three one five one Three, one, three, two, sorry. I'll try and do that again properly this time. So it's four, two, three, one, five, one, three, two. So it's always got that bit where you're you're coming back to the fifth string with your thumb uh, and you're leading almost the, the tune as you were before in the uh, with the just the, the the two fingers like that so you're coming back and it's a very versatile now let's have a look at some of the chords you can put with this now you've got the usual we've got that there's G open that's C like that and then you've got F and you've got G up there, up there, okay, so I'll name them, so open is for G, C chord is the second fret of the fourth and the third, third the fourth and the first string, you try and say it, and the index finger on the first fret of the second string, F is the ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, index finger on the first fret of the second string, and your pinky on the third fret of the first string. So using that same pick, four, two, three, one, five, one, three, two. variations of that so it's quite a good pulsing rhythm and of course G becomes the the F chord two frets up so that's the uh, ring finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string your second finger on the third on the fourth fret of the third string your index finger on the third fret of the second string and your pinky on the fifth fret of the first string and if nothing else you've got that ringing sound because your, your first string and your fifth string are the same note and if they're slightly not exactly in tune then you've still got that kind of banjo sound of course that, that would be so with it raised up so that you've got it like that at the fifth fret that becomes an A, and then you've got the, the top string as a G, makes it an A7. Because there's a, that sort of like tension sound inside it. But this picking, the, the 4-2-3-1, um, is very versatile. 
and it, it gets a bit bland if you're just playing like straight chords and the, the beauty of the five string banjo is that there's all kinds of different things that you can do um, to make it sound interesting. You haven't got as many strings as a guitar. So, like... You're just plucking on the thumb and your index finger on the middle two strings, on the third and the second string. And the chord shape is, and you're just moving it up a fret each time. So open, and then it's a kind of an A minor, so or a D seventh. That's that's the way it is, same as with the ukulele. So you've got the second fret of the third string with the second finger, and the index finger on the first fret of the second string. And you put that in with the picking. Double up the that's single. That's really the essence of the, the five string sound, that dissonance and sliding. just a run up it's the thumb playing the open string on the fourth so you're going uh, D string first fret second fret and you're going to the third string and then go third, third fret with your pinky Second fret with your second finger, index finger on the first fret of the third string. All dissonant. But when you play it in context, it sounds like this. with uh, open tunings what you're doing is you're, you're playing something that isn't a full chord uh, I call them Clint Eastwoods mostly because they don't have a name so so this is a, a, this is a good exercise with that four two three one in essence it's a G chord but you're not playing like all of the notes of it you're just playing the fifth fret of the fourth string which is a G and you're playing the third fret of the second string, which is a D. So basically you've got G, G, D, D, G. So it's quite a, a ringing sound. And without going up into the dusty end of the, the five, five string frets, what you can do then is drop it down on the fourth string with your second finger on the um, fourth fret. So it's like this. And then you play part of a C. So it's really kind of like a C ninth because you've got like the most of a C in there except you haven't got the E. So it's uh, no, it's a, a D. Yeah, so it's a C ninth. Yeah. So the run is this. So you've got this G shape, which is the fifth fret of the fourth string, the third fret of the second string, and then you move up, you go to there, which is like the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then you move that all down. Okay, so it's this kind of kind of a C, and then you just open. So it's just like a like a transition from one chord to the next. So, about that sort of moving back up again once you've got it there. I'm not trained, can you tell? Okay. Thank you. 
in songs, you can also have this kind of... Where you're just pinching the middle two strings, like that. It's very versatile and it's got that, you can emphasize the, the rhythm uh, and it makes a fuller sound because obviously you're playing, you're playing more than just like thumb uh, index fifth string like that. So it's that, that kind of... And you can make like a bigger sound. So. So, now another kind of thing you can do is an arpeggio, so... And this time you're using uh, all three fingers here. I don't think anybody ever uses uh, the, 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 the little finger. And what you're doing, I'll stand up for this here, is you're going four, three, two, one, five, one, three, two, three, four, we're back. And this shape is the F shape at the, uh, what's up, that's it, five, seven, tenth fret. So your, if you see there, so it's the F shape, which is all the way down here, to G, up, and that becomes a C, like right there, all the way up there. Okay. So you can move it up, so F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, A flat, B, and then C. And again, that really rings. And what you're doing is you're going four, three, two, one, five, one, two. And it's got that distinctive sound of the fifth string being repeatedly struck. What you can do then is uh, this is just uh, this is in one of my songs. What you do then is you put, which would be like a B minor. So that is the so ninth. You've got the ninth fret of the fourth and third string, the eighth fret of the second string, and the eighth fret of the top string. So you're sliding down from a C. D minor, like that, and then you go, so you play like G, so it's, it's, there you go, and then A minor, E flat, uh, A sharp minor, B minor, ish. Or G is it, who knows? Clint Eastwood, he'd know the name of it. So, I'll play that, I'll play that song. It's one of mine, I won't play all of it, but I'll just play a bit of it. So you get the idea of how you can use that arpeggio. Castle tonight, so brave, so strong, never 
instead of the fight with his hammer and chisel, it rings like a bell. For you he dig right down to hell. Sleep my bonny pen. Your dad was the best, a king amongst many, and if he had good, I'll save up your pennies and visit his kingdom to damp and support your king would dig for your gold. Sleep, oh, sleep, my bonny bed. Now another thing that's very effective on the five string is all what I call like the step to one sun sound. Again, using these three fingers and your thumb, you basically just straighten the fourth string and pull him up with the other on the top three strings. And then you can slide back into doing the arpeggio. They carry the king so high on their shoulders. No one more brave, more handsome than bolder. He did all he could to keep us from harm. Wish he was here to keep us from harm. Sleep, my bonny pen. Now you might have noticed that I've got this thing, this, this, this strut on the side, very important I think, it's, it kind of opens up your five string playing, it's called a, a fifth string capo, and it's attached to the side, I'll put mine on in lockdown, I would um, suggest getting it put on professionally, um, but what it is, is it, it costs about 30 quid I think it is, but it changes everything that you can do on the five string, changes key, uh, you attach it, and you see this here, what it does is, it slides up and down, so if you were, um, let's see, if, if you wanted to to play in D, which would mean putting the capo on the second fret, like so, and what you've got to do is, there's a fifth fret, one, two, you put it on, and you clamp it down. Okay, so. So if you wanted to play in um, E flat, you would just move the couple up one, and you would move the, the slide up one more. Well, I think that's really enough for the moment, just like a few tricks, a few different kind of picking patterns, and you'll find what works for you, really. Um, don't worry about making full chords all of the time because you've got like a lot of latitude, a lot of latitude with the fifth string. So you've got down that's at the fourth fret and you're going five four two zero 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 two 
back to zero there. And the run up is. So it's the. Um, the open, but this is at the fourth fret. So I'll leave with the capo one. And I, I tell you what, to make it easier if you haven't got uh, one of these fifth string capos on. So it's open with the two middle strings, your kind of A minor plus fourth. So A, B, C, D. Yeah, yeah, A minor, A minor plus four. So it's then you move that up two frets. So it's the fourth fret of the third string and the third fret of the second string, and then you move it up to the fifth fret of the fifth, the fifth fret of the uh, third and second so it goes I couldn't sing it this low but I'll try I'm having to sing it like the octopine Deserve that, so put it on this, and then I'll sing it almost um, ten notes lower. So you put the cap on the fourth fret, and then you count up. So it's that's the fifth fret. So one, two, three, four. Takes it to there. Now it's all work and there's no pay. Follow your man to the wall and never get fired on a penny a day. That sounds more like it. Get in. Hope that's been of some use.